Hey WCHS, welcome back to another episode of WC TV. I hope you didn't miss us too, too much on our week off. Last week we were down in Des Moines at the iTech conference filming the sessions and the keynotes held there. If you are interested in viewing these sessions, you can find them on the iTech YouTube channel. We will be back after this. As we get into the fall, there are several holidays like Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Veterans Day, but one that often gets overlooked is the Day of the Dead. This holiday is celebrated mainly in Mexico, but can be found in other places around the world. Daniel found out all there is to know about the Day of the Dead. Hey WCHS, this is Daniel Blankenship. Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is a three-day holiday all about tradition and family. It is celebrated from October 31st to November 2nd. Dia de los Muertos is all about celebrating the dead through festivals filled with the things that they loved. So some of the traditions for Dia de los Muertos are going to the cemetery where family will clean and decorate the graves of their family members who have died. Uh, there are also a lot of parades and parties and celebrations everywhere just to celebrate those people that have passed on. Some of the decorations for Dia de los Muertos a lot of times families will create altars where they put out pictures of family members that have passed away or they'll put um, bread of the dead, pan de muerto, out. They'll put food and drinks up that were the favorites of the people that died. And they also have skulls, sugar skulls, and papel picado, which is paper cutouts with different designs on them. Another common tradition for Day of the Dead is to get your face painted like a sugar skull. So I asked Ms. Powers for some help. Now I'm all ready for Day of the Dead. Happy Dia de los Muertos, WCHS. This has been Daniel Blankenship reporting for WCTV. The festivities look like a lot of fun, so if you want to see colorful marketplaces and different ceremonies, head to Huaca tomorrow. As you heard from Daniel, Dia de los Muertos has many traditions, including offerings that are given to the dead. One of the most popular offerings happens to be a classic, chocolate. Many Latin American families who celebrate this holiday make their own chocolate and include that as a part of their feast. Bradley got into the holiday spirit and whipped us up some chocolate. Hey WC just Bradley here. Are you tired of these boring chocolates? Yeet! Well, I'm gonna show you how to make chocolate yourself.
that's how you make chocolate. This has been Brandon McKay of for WCT. Okay, maybe don't try this at home. But if you do, make sure you have 911 on standby and you have a fire extinguisher nearby. If you can't cook, but you're feeling as though you want to get, jump into the holiday festivities, then you should decorate a sugar skull. Sugar skulls are one of the symbols that represents the Day of the Dead. Sugar skulls are small, brightly colored skulls that can take a lot of time to decorate. So Curtis started a competition to see who can make the best sugar skull. Hey WCHS, it's Curtis here, and I'm here to show you one way you can celebrate Day of the Dead with a little contest. Almost like a skull. I'm gonna go with this one, guys. You agree, judges? Mm -mm. No. You don't agree? What one do you agree? <laughs> that was just a mess. <laughs> that was just a mess. I like him. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> really? Hey, he was out here all day like <laughs> trying to make his muffin I'm gonna, skull. I'm gonna go with that one. Gemma, you're not welcome, please. That one? That one. Who's the Everybody. winner? Okay. Who's is it? Lacey won. It's yours. She did it. Well, not sure if mine's as good as theirs, but I hope this has given you some fun ideas for Day of the Dead. This has been Curtis Hutchin reporting for WCTV. Wow, those look really good. I should have gave that a try, but I've got too much homework to catch up on. But Tyler has some tech tips if you are looking to make your life easier when you're on your phone or doing homework on your iPad. Download cool math games. The game we're looking for is Checkers. Checkers is a two-player game, and it's so much fun to play with different people around the school. Ms. Ross, is it you want to play Checkers? I think I can beat you today. Sure, come around here and we'll play a game. I'm feeling lucky today, Tyler. Do I get to be black or white? Black. I have to be black? Nope. I always lose when I'm black. Alright, let's go. Great job to Kate Hollander, Ursula Lexell, Kavon Edwards, Daniel Blankenship, Kylie Lance, Isabel Hooker, Gianna Bohr, and McKenna Mitchell for auditioning for Allstate, and Caitlin Seeley for getting a recall. It's a lot of work. And congratulations to Haley Johnson, Alicia Obrecht, and Matthew Johnson for making the 2017 All-State Choir. Alicia had the highest score out of all of the Sopranos, so another big congratulations to her. Also, another big congratulations to the football team for the win against Boone, sending them into the playoffs. Don't forget, the play shows Friday and Saturday evening at 7.30 and Sunday afternoon at 2. This will be my last time behind the desk for a while. So, but I'll see, mm, I will see you next show. This has been Jacob for WCTV.